Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, Dave's going to show us a modification that he's done to his bike. I think you'll really enjoy it. So yeah, we're going to change the uh, traditional dual cable uh, throttle uh, to a single cable here on the Norton. Here we go. All right, see you guys. So with this uh, single throttle cable mechanism that we have here, um, I'm starting from a reinstallation of the carburetors. You may be starting from a full installed carburetor uh, setup here. So it's going to be a little bit different, but we'll see uh, what the changes are here. But what I do have is I've got um, both carburetor manifolds on here. They've got a little bit of play in them right now. Um, I've taken the carb um, tops off and I've taken the slides and needles out. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove these throttle adjusters where they're no longer needed. Um, so I'll remove those. Uh, and then we'll just kind of follow step by step with the included instructions and see how this kind of goes. I've got a custom wiring harness on this bike. Um, I'll probably have to pull it up tight out of the way um, more than it had been. Uh, and then we will see how everything else kind of goes together here. Now you probably noticed there's this aluminum tape here on the top of my carb bodies blocking off the choke assemblies. I just use some aluminum tape uh, there. There's obviously a lot more elegant ways of doing that. I'll eventually get a couple of appropriate bolts that uh, block that off. And then go ahead and take off your throttle adjusters here. And again, what I've done here is the four manifold, manifold bolts are a little bit loose, so there's some play. Might be a little bit more play than I need right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten down all four of these screws uh, into the in the body. This is just temporary. Eventually, the, the carb tops will go back on top of here. But this is to lock the alignment between the four screws, and basically tying the carburetors together. So now what you basically have is a single assembly here now. And now you can go ahead and tighten down the manifold. And this of course is one of the more unpleasant jobs on a Norton. Um, I'm going to turn off the camera so we don't have too much profanity, but I will get these all snugged up. Tighten up those inner manifold bolts is not made easier because of a couple factors on my bike. One of them being the oil return, oil uh, pressure line that comes up from the engine. That is also in the way. But the trick definitely is to have some kind of ball in Allen wrench. At this point, our manifolds are, are good and secure. Uh, and so we've created now a single assembly here. So supplied with this kit is a piece of silicone tubing, about one inch long. Instructions are to screw it into this carb top, about a quarter of an inch. The overall thickness of the carb top in this area is a half an inch approximately. So we will put this in about halfway down the hole. Again, screwing that silicone hose in. And then cutting the hose off flush with the top of the carb. This has created a silicone bushing basically. Now repeat for the other side. And there you can see approximately halfway down the hole a quarter inch we'll do the same here and trim this off flush with the top next we're going to take one of the two lift cables uh, with the ball end here and go ahead and force it through that silicone bushing Just 
Just by twisting it, it seems to go relatively easy. And now we're through. Again, I'm gonna repeat for the other side here. Just gentle twisting here. Doesn't seem like it needs any type of lubrication. I kind of skipped a step. That's probably my bad. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the screws from this side and loosen on the opposite side, but leave those in. Again, the carbs are mounted firmly now and they're also aligned on the plate, so we're fine there. And now just as with any type of uh, AMO carburetor, you've got to install the slide to the cable. And then of course, get the needle in too. Then it's just a matter of dropping the slides in to the carburetor. Once you do get the uh, needle uh, down in and the slide all the way to the bottom, you can go ahead and put the two top screws back in again. And once the uh, carb top is secured with the two screws, I'll go ahead and repeat to the other side. Now that the carb tops are on, the instructions are to go ahead and back off of the throttle or the slide adjustment. This is no longer needed, so we're gonna back off one full turn as now all of your adjustments should be occurring at the top. Again, in my case, the uh, throttle was off the bike already, so I'll reinstall that. And they do supply a new ferrule here, so we'll install the throttle cable and run it uh, appropriately. Now I'm, of course, using clip-on, so this throttle cable is going to be a bit on the long side, but I will do some preliminary installation now and do some a final adjustment later. You'll be able to fine-tune it yourself depending on your bike handlebars and a myriad of other factors. And now we've got these barrel uh, fittings here. I'm gonna push the, put the slot side out and it'll go through the armature as such. And then I'll lift up the uh, cable and just fits right into it. I'll repeat for the other side. The last step is to install the throttle cable onto this bracket. I can go ahead and lift these up. And I'm going to go into the top slot for now. And that completes the installation. That'll just be a matter of fine tuning. I believe then it's just synchronizing the slides uh, and then making sure your cable adjustment's correct. And then finally you'll have your idle adjustment here. And we'll give that a try. That's gonna be a little bit more time, but I just wanna show you the basic installation of this kit.